Welcome back. I'm Amy with Mountain TV here with Rose from the Frisco Historic Park. We're happy to have you here. Oh, thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. So you have some exciting stuff happening this spring at the Frisco, Frisco Historic Park, starting off with celebrating your 40th anniversary. Yes, uh, we turned 40 this year, which is so exciting for us. So we put together a year long program um, starting off in March with the Winter Lecture Series. We're bringing it back. Excellent, and so tell us more about that. So we have every Saturday in March, from March 1st through April 1st, we're bringing in local historians from around the Rocky Mountains. So we're bringing in people from Leadville, bringing in people from the Vail Snow Sports Museum. Uh, so Saturdays at 1 p.m., come to the Historic Park. It's a free lecture, uh, and we really anticipate having a strong showing this year. So make sure to come a little early to make sure you get a spot. And this runs all through spring? This runs um, from March 1st through April 1st. Excellent. Okay, and then so we're going to move on to the um, big exhibit you have in June. Yes, so this is a bit of a teaser. We haven't talked about this much yet, but we are doing a big exhibit on the 1916 all-female board of trustees in Frisco. So you think about 1916, you think about we're about to start prohibition, you think about all of the mining that's happening, and in all of that, this entirely female board of trustees was elected to Frisco's government. So it's a really cool story and we're really excited to be able to share it. Finally, after about two years of research. Oh my goodness. And so this is all part of the Frisco As I Remember project. Yes. So in 1983, the founders of the museum put together a letter and they sent it out to everybody they could find and asked, what do you remember about Frisco? We're gonna do the same thing. So it's a bit of a bigger project because we have exhibits, we have lectures, but we are going to send out letters to everybody we can get, get a hold of and ask, what do you remember about Frisco from the last 40, 50, 60 years? We're really excited. This is a, a big moment for us. What a way to capture all the great events, too, that have happened So and, and really document them over time. Absolutely. And the letters from 1983 are so critical for the museum. They're the foundation of exhibits and projects. We talk about them constantly. And really, these letters capture Frisco life in a way that like newspapers and formal documents don't. So they're really, really important to us. Oh, well, this is, sounds like a great project. Uh, Rose, thank you for being here. Where can people find out more about the events that are happening? We've got a couple different places. Uh, you can just go to our website, friscohistoricpark.com. You can go to our Facebook page, or you can just come by the museum on Main Street. We'll be happy to tell you all about it. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure having you here. Thanks.